intimidated by this guest that I have next right now. She is an amazing racket sports player with a very unique racket sports that nobody knows about or has heard about. I, I played it in college my junior year, but uh, she uh, she's an amazing little pistol, and she got referred by one of our uh, former guests, and uh, we'll be back on, A.B. Bricker. Thank you very much. A.B. Bricker, you the man. Um, and he told me about this awesome badminton player because pickleball is part badminton. And I believe it's the one thing that we don't talk about enough is badminton. So I have brought a pair of badminton player on our show. It's our show. It's not my show. It's not his show. It's not her show. It's our show. It's our show because she took the time to come on. And where are you calling us from and tell us your name, young lady? Boom. Hi, thanks for having me. Um, I'm JC, and uh, I'm from Michigan. Um, so, yeah, that's where I'm call- calling in from. You know the last name? Because I'm Curtis Reese. Are you JC? I'm JC Simon. There we go. I did. I did. I knew. I knew you were famous in the badminton world, but to not have a last name, that's huge. <laughs> you think I should just go by Curtis? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> we're glad you're on, man. I, I'm excited that that that, that uh, Adam referred you and and uh, JC, and uh, it's it's good to to uh, to talk about badminton. You're our first player, inaugural player. So guess what? You will always be a part of the show until you will until you be 108 playing badminton. You understand that? Thank you. <laughs> All right, so this is called The Way of Badminton. So tell us what, when, where, why you got into badminton, JC. Come on. Okay, so um, when I was seven, I got diagnosed that I have dwarfism, which basically just means that my bones don't grow as much as, like, everyone else. Um, And so I eventually started going to LPA conferences, Little People of America, and the only reason that drew me to go is because they have sports that I could compete in. So I competed in um, about every sport but badminton. I had no idea that it was a sport. Mm -hmm. Um, And I got recruited um, by another player's dad. um, Who you want to name drop? USA badminton. You want to name drop those people? Sure, Mike. Um, And so uh, Miles is my mixed doubles partner. Mike is his dad. Um, So he's the one that. What's their last name? Do people, not have, uh, do people not have last names in badminton or what? <laughs> I'm just kidding with you. <laughs> yeah, tell us their name. Their, their full name. Um, we're we're going to drop them. Miles Krasky and Mike Krasky. Thank you. Um, yeah, and so they're the ones that um, emailed my family about it back in 2015, mm-hmm. and we had no idea what the sport was. So wow. my mom went out and uh, got a backyard badminton set, and that's how <laughs> that's I great. started playing was – in my grandparents' backyard, um, so <laughs> it was. I've had quite the, I guess, transformation yeah. um, since then. So in uh, like 2017, I started going to some um, camps and clinics along with some able-bodied tournaments. Mm-hmm. Um, and then in 2018, I had my first international tournament uh-huh. in Peru. How was that? That was amazing. It was <laughs> such an eye opener. Um, yeah, to see like the, the level playing field Mm -hmm. was really cool. And just that there's such an elite, an elite group of athletes that can compete is really cool. That's so cool. So, yeah, so that's what intrigued me. And then, um, I kind of picked it up more from there. Um, and so I've, I've been playing since like 2017. Wow. Um, yeah. And how long are your practices? Do you, do you practice like hours, or do you do like drilling or rallying, or what's kind of, kind of, for for me, for uh, morons like me, uh, mm-hmm. help me. I'm excited about that you're on. I'm excited you're playing it. I I, I have a, such a passion for people who are passionate about something that they like themselves. That was really bad grammar, but whatever. I'm just saying <laughs> that. Um, uh, tell us like tell us what a practice routine in the, is in the badminton for you. Um. So, unfortunately, in the U.S., there's not really funding oh. and. Everyone lives all over around uh, the U.S. So mine is not very, not what you would think of a athlete on Team USA. But basically, um, I train with, uh, it def- it's not very consistent. It's cool. But um, people, like, there's a MSU badminton club, Michigan State University oh, wow. badminton club. Sweet. So, yeah, so I... Uh, during the school year, I go there and um, hit with some guys. One of them, his name's Q. Um, I don't know his last name. Okay, I'll let you slide uh, on that one. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> he's, he's, 
famous enough, you I, know. I, yes, ma'am. I, yes, you bet. You bet. Keep going. Sounds <laughs> um, good. Yeah, so he's really helped. Uh, he's a student there, but he's really passionate about badminton. So, um, cool. so when he's around, I get to train with him. And then I also go out um, and train in Nebraska um, with his name is Moss Slattison. Sweet. Um, and th- yeah, that's where uh, my partner Miles trains. Um, that's cool. And so, so I do a lot of cross training. Mm-hmm. Normally, like if I have a practice, it's like a two-hour practice between like two and three-hour practice. But when I'm out training in Nebraska, it's twice a day. Um, every day. Is it like in a gym or I, I don't really know. Is it, is it outside? I, I, is it in like a makeshift ball? I'm not being sarcastic. I don't know where you would, would yeah, play these. Yeah, at. it's it's inside on courts. Um, So like basically three badminton courts would fit inside the size of a basketball court. Wow, that's yeah. great. That's like two pickleball. I mean, for, wait, hold on now. The pickleball is the same length as the badminton court, right? Um, I think width, but it's longer in, um, it's longer in badminton, okay. I think. Okay, cool. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know that. Wow. See? Yeah. I knew it was awesome <laughs> bringing her on. It's so cool. That's exciting for me. I know I'm a weirder. So, like, do you have, this is going to make fun of me, whatever. Do you have backhands, forehands? Do you have t- volleys? Do you have approach shots? Well, name us some shots. Name us, like, some cool shots. Um. You're, like, telling, you're well, bringing this, to, you're bringing badminton to the show, which is so exciting yeah. for me. So you're, you're, awesome. you're kind of our go-to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there's, um, like, backhand, forehand. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there's, like, clears, which is, like, hitting back-to-back. What are they um, called? Clears? Clears, wow. yeah. And then um, smashes. Yes. Which is, like, a spike in volleyball, basically. Okay. Um, and then we call them uh, rallies. Uh-huh. Um, okay. And there's, like, slice shots. Mm-hmm. Um, there's cross-court shots. Um, you have tweeners. <laughs> yeah, in betweeners. Those are not not so good. No, shots, no, because you can't let the ball yeah. bounce, right? Duh, right. Right. That's so cool. I'm, I'm excited about that. Okay, so how's the scoring? The same. Is oh, it's uh to twenty one. Side out um, or would, side out or rally scoring. It's rally scoring. Yeah. Oh wow. Um. Wow. To. So how would you? Yeah. How do you? How does it work? How would you? How would you start a match and, and play a match? Let's put it that way. Um, so basically, you flip a coin. Uh-huh. The umpire will flip a coin, and then like one uh, person or one of the teams, um, if you're playing like doubles or mixed doubles, will call like heads or tails. <laughs> That's cool. Um, and then they get to ch- if you win it, then you get to choose to receive, okay. to serve, or the side. And then based on there, um, whatever you choose, the other team gets to pick. Um, okay. The- yeah. That's wild. Okay. Yeah. So, side on the door, whatever. But um, so do you guys like 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 when do you switch sides? Uh, do you stay on the same side? Is uh, you play sets to twenty one? How many sets do you play? Kind of walk played, walk an ignorant guy like me through. Say you and I were gonna go to yeah. say we're playing doubles match together. Mm-hmm. How would how would we start? And then how would we lose or something like that? Would that would that work? So. Yeah. So once you choose um like the side serve everything Mm -hmm. then you get um a Mm warm-up and then if if you are playing mixed doubles or doubles then you'll warm up with your partner Uh but if not then you'll warm up with the other person um and then that's when after that um you'll start the game you play to 21 Mm -hmm. win by two of a max of 30 um yeah and then so it doesn't get up there much but i've had a few games that get pretty close. So you just play the um, you just play the one set to 21 or or max to 30, is that right? Um it's to 21 win by two of a max to 30 and then you play best of 3. Oh. Or best out. Of three. Uh, how, yeah. how, like pickleball matches are 15 20 minutes the majority of the time. Tennis matches are on average 90 minutes. I know I used to run tournaments and play blah blah blah. blah. But so mm-hmm. what's the average length of a badminton match do you think? Um is it just depends if you go to Three sets, three sets, then um, I think the longest one I've had is like maybe an hour, hour and 15. Oh. Um, but that, yeah, That's it's so long cool. and tiring, but it doesn't happen much. Um, but if it's a because you're just a baller, right? Is that the deal? <laughs> <laughs> sure, I guess you could. There say. you go, there oh. you go. We gotta, gotta feel that girl. Come on now, keep going. Uh, yeah, so, so, but uh, there's different classifications. So mine's SH6. 
which means short stature. But then there's another um, classification called SL3, and that's um, like a lower limb disability, mm -hmm. but like above the knee. Mm -hmm. um, so they only play half court mm -hmm. in those games. One took like just over two hours. It was what? Crazy. One more? Oh. Yeah. oh, wow. So this is, yeah. again, we're talking to J.C. Simon, correct? Is that what I say? I don't want to mess that up. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Uh, she's an amazing para, para badminton player. Uh, and she's with us, t telling us all the all things pickleball, the way of th oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Scratch that three, two, one, the way of badminton. There we go, the pickleball, but the badminton way. That's what we call it. Sorry, I don't mean that. Um, about not the pickleball part, but okay, cool. So, do you have a certain brand or what are they? Or a racket or what do you call it? Yeah. Um. Well, I prefer to use Yonix. Yonix, um, okay. Which is the brand? It's it's like. Um, in so, the badminton world, it's like known worldly. So what's the name um, of the frame? The frame, or the, like yeah. of the racket. Yeah, the, the type of racket um, you use. The racket, um, it depends. So okay. for mixed doubles, <laughs> I play with it's called Astrox Twenty Two F. Um, so it's like a lighter, uh, um, top any, light racket. Do you have any around? Is there anything around? Anyone around you? Um. In my room, I have one. Do you want, do you want to go get it real quick? I want to see. I've never yeah. seen Batman. Go get it real quick. We'll wait. Okay. You're the best. And again, how awesome is this? How awesome is this that we get to have an actual badminton player on, <laughs> and she's going to get her racket. See, I didn't know it was called the racket. Did you? Hey, they're called rackets in badminton. They're not, they're not, not paddles. They're called rackets. Okay. Shut up, dude. She's going to get one. She plays with the brand Yonix. Cool. No, she went to get it. Yeah, I am recording. That's why she stopped. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> Whoops. All right. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. She's back. Here we go. Let's look at these bad boys. Let's look at these w master weapons here we got here. Okay, yes. So this, is, this is my uh, uh, mixed doubles one. Okay. Um, so it's, it just says Astrox. Cool. 22F. Um, and it's very light. So... I can move it a lot faster, defend quicker, yeah. stuff like that. That's so um, good. And so, like, my stringing tension um, for people that play badminton is, like, 22 pounds. Um, <laughs> so it's, it's on the lighter side. How, how, um, how, like, tennis, you know, there's a, the, the paddle's like a year, if you, two years, three years, if you're recreational and blah, blah, blah. And, and tennis rackets are three to six months. What, what's the uh, string life on a, the better string than a badminton racket? Um, it just depends what string you have. So okay. Okay. Um, the more durable string yeah. that you have can last. Um, if you don't really play with it much and you string it looser, then um, it could last like a year. Wow. But for the more like elite players mm -hmm. um, like that you? use like a. Th <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. Someone. Just go with it, man. <laughs> um, I'll yeah. believe it. So, so sometimes. Like, it will take maybe a few weeks if it's strung really tightly and you're playing often. Yeah. Um, but I, since I string it lighter and I use a more durable string, it doesn't break as often. Um, yeah. Uh, well, uh, let's see if I can get Adam on here. Darn it. Andrew. He's probably busy with, Andrew. with everything else, pickleball. Oh, uh, no. Uh, on the show with uh, JC Coleman, Stephen Conley. Um, anyway, so, so do you, speaking of that, you said mixed and regular doubles. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you prefer? Is are there singles? Is, is yeah, there's singles too. I so play is it, singles. Is that a different so. mantra like it is in paddle in pickleball? Is it a different, totally different strategy? Or is oh it yeah. Similar? Cool. Yeah. So which one do you prefer when you play with your awesome Yonex rackets? There, uh, do you prefer um, or just depend on the day? Or there's no right. And listen, I got to remind you this. Anything you say is totally objective. You, I, you will not be held against anything. It's just, it's just your story and your journey in badminton. So you, you're free to say whatever you want to say. If you think the tension is too loose, it's what you said. It's your thing. So don't worry about it. Keep going. Yeah. So um, for singles, I use a completely different racket. Um, it's a heavier racket. Um, it's I use uh, the Astrox Flash Boost, mm -hmm. um, which I'm. I'm transferring over to a different racket currently, um, more like the Nano Ray Glands 
um, because it's heavier. Okay. Um, and it's it's a it's a better racket overall. But I do have with me the Ashbox Flash Boost, so Jeez. it's just it's just a little heavier. Right. Um, and I string it at the same tension. Twenty twenty five. And then I use the same string. Well, that's what, what, kind, what, what kind of string is it? Is it Yonix? Yeah, it's a Yonix string. So right now, um, it's called DG sixty five, but I'm starting to most of my rackets now are um called X Bolt. Nice. What's which the, is a better string? What's I, I used to be a, a racket stringer, a, a head racket stringer at Brookhaven. And by the by the way, bless you, bless you, Billy Free. We apologize you left this earth last week, but um, love you, man. Anyway, I spent ten years at Brookhaven being the head stringer, so I'm I'm familiar with with uh that with that stuff and i'm not saying to brag i'm just curious what's the gauge on on, on those on those bit on those badminton rackets like like oh, eight like and like like 16 what is, do you mean? like in, in tennis 15 is a thicker for durability 16 is mid 17 is a real thin gauge which is really less durability more feel and touch which i'm old so i use that when i play uh tennis so what's the gauge on those on those uh strings feel no that's cool it's not a big deal um i'm not sure that's cool yeah i have no idea I'm, i that's um, cool. It's more just it's more just like a like it just has different um every things. every string has a little bit yeah unique thing about it so like yeah. a different texture to it like all these paddles and strings have wraps and I get okay cool I did not know that yeah all right so um, anyway I really screwed this up for those of you that don't know we're talking to J C Simon here uh, she's in Michigan correct we're in uh, we're, yeah. we're talking about badminton. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we do have a YouTube channel. It's, it's uh, the Free Pickleball Show with Curtis Reese. Please subscribe and leave. I mean, t- leave us a comment, good or bad. Tell us what you do and don't like. And if you want to be a sponsor, give us a call, and we'll talk to you. All right, they're not. That's over with. So let's talk about your favorite place to play so far. How's how that sound? What's, what's been your favorite place ever that you'd like to let our our listeners um, and viewers know? Badminton man, superstar. Man, that's a tough one. I've <laughs> I've played in uh, quite a few venues. Um, I would say. Um, world championships in uh, Basel, Switzerland, nice. um, was probably probably the coolest venue. <laughs> That's um, awesome. Yeah, I'm so, so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> my so I play pair badminton, mm-hmm. um, and then there's able body badminton, um, which is like the pros that you see on TV, yeah, so yeah. to speak. Yeah. So at that world championship, um. We both played at the same time, so it was pretty cool. That's so awesome. Um, That's so cool. Yeah, that was probably my favorite venue. Um, but you can't top that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So far, Peru, I'm sure there'll be more. I'm sure you'll have more. Yeah. So what's coming up for you? Uh, what's what what's your next step here? Let our listeners know. Next, I have Australia in October. Um, yeah, I've never been there. Oh, I so don't I like you right now. I've never been over there. My brother's been over there. God, okay, keep going. <laughs> I mean, you you could uh, be a chaperone, but there's kind of a wait list. Oh, for you, of course, I know. I'd probably have to pay a massive <laughs> fee, right? Okay, I'll, well, you know what? I'll watch you on the YouTube. Or, oh yeah, hey, another quick question: Where do where would we see you you play on? I know they probably have it streaming somewhere. Is there a channel? I mean, I I don't. I'd love to love to love to push yeah. it. It depends on um, what tournament it is, okay. uh, because they have different channels. Mm-hmm. Um, but most. Um, live streams and the link can be found on my uh, Facebook page okay. called JC Simon Dash Pair Badminton. Right. And then I also have a website called JC's Journey dot com and um, my on. Instagram too. Wait, what? You have what? Hang on. I, did I follow you on that? Don't. Are you following me? I'm gonna follow you right now. I'm gonna just part <laughs> of the show. Let's see here. Okay. So it's it's JC. I think I'm following you. J A Y C I. Wait. Mm-hmm. JC what? Uh, Simon, S I M O N. I'm following you. You're not following me. Why don't you follow me? Really? I thought I was. I don't know. I'm just I kidding. Will, you will. I will do that. And again on the YouTube, do you have a, okay, and you said also on the Facebook that we'll look that up. Let's see. Okay, so cool. So let's go to, um, what do you prefer? Singles, doubles, or mixed? Did we talk about that yet? I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so I, I enjoy mixed doubles and singles pretty equally now. And then doubles, I just do more for fun because. It's not a qualification event for. I'm oh, just singles and mixed R for Paralympics. All right, yeah. well, good. So, uh, and that's really all I can think of. Oh, do you have a favorite player right now? Who's the best badminton player? Who's the best badminton male? Who's the best badminton female player right now? Go, everybody's gonna watch. <laughs> um, para <laughs> or able body? In your mind, in your story, able body. I'll tell you what, do both. 
Let's go. Oh boy. Um, probably her name's Intanon. Um, from uh Thailand. She's probably the best, one of the best able body, or yeah, able body deadman okay. players. Uh -huh. Um, and then I don't, I, it's up for grabs for the men. Okay. And then um, <laughs> Tara. Um. Tara. Yeah, same thing. It's. It's up for it's, grabs. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'll tell you what. It just depends on the day. Fair enough. Yeah, that's I love it. You're going to be a good attorney one day or and a professional pickleball <laughs> player. Ah, oh, gosh darn it, badminton, whatever. I'm just saying, um, well, that's great. So that's, that's, that's fun. So what's your favorite shot? Oh, probably um, a cross-court drop nice. on my forehand side. Where do you do that from? What do you mean? Do you I do it like when I'm in the back. In the back, okay. Um, yeah, I'm cool. like up here, uh -huh. and then I just slice it down. And it's a super sharp drop to the other side. Look at that! I've, I've seen some of your shit. Some of your some of your uh, playing points. It's, it's pretty wild, man. <laughs> All right, <laughs> cool. You. All right, so uh, you have a tip. You have any tips you want to tell our our listeners and say they go out and buy a badminton set and whack about? Uh, what do they call it? What's the thing called? A birdie? Yeah, a birdie or a shuttle. What's what's your favorite? Real quick, what's the favorite? Is there a good type or bad type of birdies? Or are they all the same? Uh, they're definitely not all the same. Okay. Um. Yeah, so I guess if you're playing just in your backyard, just like plastic shuttles, but when you actually start to get competitive with it, um, you play with feather shuttles, um, which I actually brought some over when Let's I grabbed look my at them. Let's see them. All right. What are they called? Shuttles? Yeah. So this is like what one a new one looks like. Nice, dude. Um, Those things yeah, and they come in like a pack of 12. 12? Oh, wow. So, yeah. you, so you said there's able body and para body. Is that what you said, para? para? Yeah, yeah, para badminton and able body. Cool. All right, so let's go into the kitchen. What's your favorite movie right now? I watched A Knock at the Cabin Door by M. M. La, M. What? Sham Shaman? Sorry. Anyway, my wife and I watched it on accident because Hulu was out and it scared the living crap out of us. <laughs> Dude, it's good. Yeah. I've never seen it, but I might I might have to watch it after this. Uh, well, it's pretty good. I'm telling you, it's really cool. It's really good. That's what we watched so far. You've watched anything? Um, my favorite, and it has been for many years, is Pitch Perfect. Pitch Perfect. You can't go wrong. <laughs> nice, dude. No one said that one. That's a good one. Pitch Perfect. Cool. All right, so what are you listening to? Um, I was I was listening to some Bob Dylan on the way in here. Um, you know who Bob depends. Dylan is, right? Yeah, I do. I do. Thank God. Um, Scared me. Yeah. So, <laughs> I like, depends. Like, I like some ACDC. There you go. That was, yeah, that's good for working out. Um, some Lumineers. Yeah. Um, Lumineers. Yeah. Oh yes, good, 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 good. I, I was listening to that. Uh, What's a new album that came out? Um, oh boy, P not your P not AM radio. Um, it's, it's under Mr. Brightside. Anyway, it's good stuff. Cool. So uh, yeah. let's see here. We got any puppies? We got we got we got doggies. We got a Havanese and a Golden Doodle, and they're both nuts. And it's Chief oh. Chief and Gus. Oh, those are their names. Well, you got any dogs, pets? That's cute. Yeah, I have a dog named Murphy. He's a, a <laughs> mini poodle. Um, but Where's he at? Where's he at? He's not running around there? Um, yeah, he's pro he probably is. Mm. Um, Murphy. He'll probably come around, too. Murphy, <laughs> is that Murphy, too? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. He's probably taking a nap right now. Oh, oh no, he's not. He wants to see what he looks like. <laughs> okay. Murphy, come here. Oh, look at Jason Simon's dog, Murphy. Come here, Murph. Where you at, buddy? This is him. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah. He's a little. He's a little camera shy. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, look. But um, he's he's like he just turned three not too oh, long ago. Oh, well, yeah. That looks a lot like Gus. Well, uh, look. So let's remind our, our listeners. We're about to get out of here now. But let's let's remind our our listeners about how to get in touch with you. Could you please plug your plug your uh the platforms for us? Yeah, so um, on Facebook, it's called J.C. Simon dash pair badminton. And then on Instagram, it's J.C. dot Simon. I follow her. <laughs> and then uh, on Facebook, it's um, J.C.'s journey dot com. Very good. Well, uh, I'm, and I'm Curtis at com. I can be reached at 972-896-1533 or on the World Wide Web. And, uh, well, JC, really, thanks for uh, coming on. We're really glad you uh, took time out of your schedule 
And she's been busy, people, I'm telling you. But uh, anyway, we're going to have you back on. We'll circle back with you in a few months. Does that sound good to you? Awesome. I'm going to do good. it anyway, so you, just, you, you can say yes or no. I'm still going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get out of here, man. We're going to jam out. Everybody have a great weekend, and rest in peace, Billy Fair. I love you, man. Coming through.